Hi, in this tutorial, I'll show you how to select file as input and download a file as output for orchestration launched from a form extension. This feature enhances the capabilities of form extension to accept file as input to the orchestration. In addition, if the orchestration returns file as output, this feature allows us to download those files to our desktop. In this tutorial, let's consider a scenario in which we want to make it easy for users to attach an agreement document to a purchase order and download a file as output for an orchestration launched from a form extension. For this scenario, you will create an orchestration that accepts file as input to create a purchase order and add input files to it as attachment. Add a web button and associate the orchestration using form extension. When you click the web button, provide file as input to the orchestration. Create another orchestration to return purchase order attachment file as output. Add a web button and associate the orchestration using form extension. On clicking the web button, the orchestration will be executed and returns the file attachments to download it to your local desktop. Now, we need to record the purchase order creation process. In this task, you will understand how to create a form request using process recorder to create a purchase order in JD Edwards Enterprise One. This task relies on Enterprise One demo data. You can use other data available in your system to enter a purchase order to perform this task. Sign in to the Enterprise One web client. You can access the Enterprise One web client from the Orchestration Studio home page or from the Tools drop-down menu on any of the pages. From the fast path, access Work with the Headers application. On the Enterprise One page, click the drop-down menu next to your username and select Record a Process. In the Process Recorder window, click the Start button. Click Add icon in the Work with Work Orders header application. Enter values in the below fields under the Order Header tab based on the data available in your system. Branch plant as M30, supplier as 4242, ship to as 4242. Click Save. In the order detail form, enter values in the item number and quantity ordered columns in the table. Click Save. Note that the previous order number is generated in the order header form. Click Return values in the process recorder window. Click Previous order number, type and order company. Note that you might have to move the process recorder window to see these fields. Click and drag the title bar to move it. Click resume in the process recorder window. Click stop in the process recorder window and enter the name and description as create purchase order. Click save. Click the close icon to close the process recorder window. Now we have to create an orchestration using the form request. Log in to the Orchestrator Studio. Click Form Request. Select the Create Purchase Order Form Request in the left panel. The Create Purchase Order Form Request opens, showing you all the forms and steps you took when you recorded the process. Click Step 2 in the train, that is Order Header. You can change the name of the form inputs or update or remove the default values of the input fields. Click Step 3 in the train, that is Order Details. You can change the name of the grid inputs or update or remove the default values of the input fields. Click Save. From the Manage menu, select Create Orchestration. The system creates an orchestration with inputs, transformation and outputs to call the form service request. Verify the orchestration that is created. Now we need to create an attachment and add that attachment to this orchestration. Click Home to access the Orchestrator Studio homepage. Click Attachments icon. Click the New button in the left panel. Enter the name and description for the attachment. Search and select the media object structure name. Keys will be listed automatically. In this case, GT4301 is the structure name for the purchase order attachment. Select Action as Upload File. In Input section, Enter a variable for file name to create the purchase order attachment. Click Save. Click Home and click the orchestration icon. Select Create Purchase Order Orchestration from the left panel. Click Design Mode button 
on the bottom left corner of the window and click add icon to the right of the create purchase order form request. Select attachment step. Select the purchase order attachment that we created. Now we can see that the attachment is added to the orchestration. Let's add the file input to the orchestration. Click the start icon and then click the inputs and values icon. In the inputs and values window, click file input and select process file individually option. Configure the file inputs. Click anywhere outside the inputs and value window to close the window. Click save. Click the purchase order attachment and click transformations icon and enter the inputs in the available values and default values column as shown here. Click save to apply the changes to the orchestration. Now we will see how we can associate the orchestration created previously using form extension and provide file as input. Access the work with item availability application. Use the form extension icon to access the form extension manager side panel. Drag and drop the add button from the form extension manager side panel to the form. Rename the button to create purchase order and associate the orchestration that we have created earlier and enable the required inputs to create a purchase order with file attachments. In the first step, select the orchestration tab. Then select the create purchase order button as the control and associate the orchestration with the button clicked event. Use the next button to move to the next step in the wizard. In step two, select the orchestration from the saved drop-down list. In this case, it is create purchase order. Click next. In step three, orchestration inputs are listed. If required, you can map any control or enter default values for the inputs. You can also override these values during execution by enabling allow input toggle button. Then click next. In step four, define the order of execution and click next. In step five, map the control to which orchestration outputs need to be updated. Click save. You can see that the orchestration that we created is listed under the orchestration tab as saved events. Save and close the associate orchestration wizard. Save and close the form extension manager side panel. Now click the create purchase order button. The enter input pop-up window is displayed. In the orchestration inputs tab, provide inputs for the branch plan and item number and quantity ordered in the grid data. Because the orchestration is configured to accept file as input, the Enterprise One page automatically presents the file inputs tab. In the file inputs tab, upload the purchase agreement that will be stored as an attachment to the purchase order. The file you choose must match the file name pattern that you specified on the orchestration inputs. You can choose any PDF file from your local file system that has a file extension of .pdf. Click OK. The orchestration is executed and the purchase order is generated with the file you selected as an attachment. Note that the order number that is displayed in the orchestration message pop up. You might need this order number to verify your purchase order. Close the orchestration message pop up. Now let's check our purchase order. From the fast path, access work with order header application. Enter the order number that was created in the previous step. Click Find. Note that the purchase order details are displayed and the file uploaded as an orchestration input has been attached to this order. Click the attachment icon to access the attachment manager. You can see the uploaded purchase order agreement. Now let's create an orchestration to return file as orchestration output. In this task, you will understand how to create an orchestration that provides file as output. The orchestration created in this section will be used to download the attachment in the purchase order. Let's see how to create this orchestration. We need to create an attachment to download the attachment in the purchase order and add that attachment to this orchestration. For that, let's access the Orchestrator Studio homepage. 
Click Attachments icon. Click the New button in the left panel. Enter the name and description for the attachment. Search and select the media object structure name. Keys will be listed automatically. In this case, GT4301 is the structure name for the purchase order attachment. Select Action as Download File. In Output section, enter file name variable as shown here. Click Save. Now click the Manage menu in the top right corner of the window. Select Create Orchestration. We can see that the Download PO Attachment Orchestration is created to download the file attached to the given purchase order. Click the Download PO Attachment and click the Transformation icon and provide the default values for the input fields as shown here. Click anywhere outside the Transformations window to close the window. Click Save. Click the End icon and select Output and Assertions. Click the Files tab in Outputs and Assertion and select Response is a single file option and select File Download File Name from the File Name drop-down menu. Click Save. Now, let's see how to associate the orchestration created previously using form extension to receive file as output. Access to work with order header application. Use the form extension icon to access the form extension manager side panel. Drag and drop the add button from the form extension manager side panel to the form. Rename the button to download order attachment and associate the orchestration that we have created earlier to download the file attached to your purchase order. In the first step, select the orchestration tab, then select the download order attachment button as the control and associate the orchestration with the button clicked event. Use the next button to move to the next step in the wizard. In step 2, select the orchestration from the saved drop down list. In this case, it is download order attachment. Click next. In step 3, orchestration inputs are listed. If required, you can map any control or enter default values for the inputs. You can also override these values during execution by enabling allow input toggle button. In step 4, define the order of execution and click next. In step 5, mapping the output is not enabled as the selected orchestration is configured for a file output. Click save. You can see that the orchestration that we created is listed under the orchestration tab as saved events. Save and close the associate orchestration wizard. Save and close the form extension manager side panel. Now, enter the order number that we created previously and click find. Select the order and click the download order attachment button. Because there are no inputs, the orchestration runs automatically and shows the result. Click download file to download the PDF file. The file is downloaded to your browser's download location. A confirmation message will appear if you close the output pop-up without downloading the file. Open the downloaded PDF file and verify the purchase agreement. In this tutorial, you have seen how to create an orchestration to add a purchase order, upload an agreement document as an attachment to that purchase order and launch it from a button on a form extension. You also saw how to create an orchestration to download a file attachment and launch it from a button on a form extension. Hopefully, you will imagine even more ways to automate your business by building orchestration to manage files and launching those orchestration from form extensions. To learn more about this feature, visit us online at learnjd.com. Thanks for watching.